Not quite sure if the previous owner was trying to reduce the vehicle's carbon emissions by growing moss and mold on the roof, but either way, it's got to go. So this 20-year-old boxer van needs a bit of TLC today. And first off, we're going to use the jet washers to blast any debris or loose leaves and things off the roof before I treat it with some all-purpose cleaner. After that, I'm going to use a little soft bristle brush just to go around the edges because it's got a rubber weather seal around there. And there's also like a rain guard or gully around the top of the panels as well. And it was full of moss, so I want to try and loosen that up. After that, shock horror, I'm going to be using a drill brush, which is going to upset a few people, but it's the only real thing I'm going to be able to remove this years of grime and liching off this roof quickly and effectively. So the target goal was about a day on this vehicle, that's all the budget allowed. So the customer had a quick peek at the roof. We don't usually do these as a rule, but due to the age and the fact that it was quite green and mossy and horrible, most of the vehicle was a bit sort of green in the door shuts, as we'll see later on as well. He said, can you just tidy that up a bit? Explained exactly how I was going to do the process. And he's like, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry, the van's got a value of around about £2,000, which is probably about $2,500. It's a cheapie. Just do what you need to do. I think in total, even using the drill brush, etc., that roof took me about an hour, hour and a half. Obviously, you've got to move the step ladder and bits and bobs and move around. So it's quite, you know, quite time consuming as it is. So with the roof cleaned off, we can now look at other parts of the vehicle. And I just get the vibe that this thing hadn't been washed for a really long time. It's not been parked up, it's not barn finder or anything silly like that. But it might have just been parked on a builder's driveway or underneath a tree on a permanent basis. And as we can see in the door shuts, it's just got loads of green slime everywhere. So it's a case of just going around, pre-treating it with all-purpose cleaner, various little brushes, and then just blasting it all out. The one thing I will say about the French vans is, as a rule, the anti-corrosion uh, properties they use in that are extremely good. You now you look at a Generation or Mark 1 Sprinter or Vito van, they're just absolutely covered in rust. I know it's Mercedes and the, you know, the engines are pretty good, but the bodywork on the early ones is awful. Again, transits tend to rust quite a lot as well. So, in fairness, the French stuff's pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of surface corrosion coming around the wheel arches. There's a little bit inside the wheel arches, but it's for 20 years old, it's, it's in pretty good shape, it's pretty solid. Other areas when washing one of these off, these metal side runners, or you know, say some of them are black on different models, they always seem to trap a lot of dirt and grease behind. Things like the door, rubber seals here around the doors, door handles, mirror as well is going to be another area we'll see. It seems to attract a lot of green slime at the bottom, you know, right underneath the glass, so get the brush in there, agitate it quite a lot and then give it a good blast out. So the car engine bay or van engine bay dressing of choice today is going to be Car Pro Pearl. I've diluted that 50-50 of water and it still gives a good finish. All you do is literally spray it on while the engine bay is a bit damp. And once it all dries off, it'll leave a nice factory finish sheen on there. Now, I've got to be honest, the inside of this van was really good condition. It was dusty and a bit grimy, but nothing too bad. A bit of all-purpose cleaner, brush around the vents and things, used a damp microfiber to take the residue off, and also an airline to blast any of the vents and hard-to-reach nooks and crannies that might have sort of biscuits and crumbs in there for years ago. And most notably, the seats were a bit grubby. I think the passenger side might have had a dog on air as well. You know, maybe builder's gone to work with his little Jack Russell or something. Uh, so they took about two or three passes to get all the grime out of them. But as you'll see again at the end of the video, they came up really well. There's no rips or tears or anything like that. Now, this van, in fairness, was in pretty good condition. So one of the things I've done here at the customer's request is to paint the wheels. They were a bit rusty, so I've pulled the wheel trim off, given the wash, gone over with a wire brush and some sandpaper first. Then I've got a can of sort of hammerite type paints. It's got rust preventative materials in it and just sprayed the wheel. It's not the concourse job, but it's going to improve the overall look at the end. Um, obviously, a bit of tire dressing, and then we're going to pop on the wheel trim. And whereas you would have had the silver wheel, which was a bit rusty in those gaps in between, now it's all satin black and just looks nice and uniform. Likewise here, I'm not going to show hours of machine polishing because it gets a bit tedious. Um, we have gone over the whole van and used some super resin polish at the end to give it a nice sheen and sort of give it a little bit of protection. And last but most certainly not least is the bumper dressing, which is Concept Vista. 
This product's really good. It only has two drawbacks. You can't put it on when it's going to be the vehicle's going to be going straight out into the rain or it's very, very cold. The actual product can last up to two or three months, but it must have enough time to cure around about six to 12 hours to be honest. So I tend to do it before I go home and then put the vehicle out the next morning if it's you know, going to be bad weather. So as we can see, the before and after on the roof is quite dramatic and the bodywork on this vehicle now looks fantastic. It's not you know, dented or scratched anywhere. I went around with a little bit of touch up paint on things like the door edges and things like that. But overall, I was actually quite impressed. This vehicle has been loved. I just think it hasn't sort of had the care and attention in the right areas like, you know, the door shuts, petrol flaps being washed out, things like that. So it hopefully will do somebody a good turn. I think it's going to be, you know, a nice little van for someone. I've got to say though, but the, the blue seats in there is very year 2000, isn't it? That was kind of like a trend back in the day, <laughs> but it does look clean and tidy in there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be another one next week and thanks for watching as always.